Hello and welcome to Build and Deploy. My name is Mitesh Bhopale and I am the senior cloud architect with Oracle for Startups. Today I'm thrilled to be here with Frederico Kakodor, founder and CEO for Ways to Go. We are here to talk about how Frederico and his team built and deployed the mission critical workloads on OCI. So could you tell us a bit more about what workloads you are running on OCI today? Yes, today our front end and back end process is totally at OCI. I mean, our platform graphic user interface and our field transaction processing is hosted at all at Oracle. Great. So let's pivot and talk a little bit about how your architecture is designed to support your customers. Would you mind spending some few minutes talking through the elements of the architecture? So basically it starts on at the field with our field sensors, which are powered by long lasting batteries and have its own communication radios. So it can be anywhere on the field. Those sensors are installed at customer assets like waste bins, dumpers, vehicles, and other assets. The sensors connect to a low power one at a frequency rate defined by the customers and save the data to our back end. Once the data reach our Oracle Cloud, this data triggers some functions, which has the responsibility to decrypt this data and transform it in a managerial information, supporting later the, the process of analysis, planning, and decision taking. So could you tell me the technical uh, advantages of using Oracle Functions? And what are the main benefits of using it? First of all, we don't need to have a, a server app running all the time. Uh, all all, all the, the data transfer, we are using REST APIs and we can model the function as a REST API. Once the data uh, sent, uh, sent, to this, sent to, from the sensor can be accessed a, a low power network. And from this low power network, I can uh, trigger the function to receive that data without having a, a server uh, up all the time. So, and when uh, the, the trigger receive the data, it will decrypt all the data because the data is encrypted during the, the, trans, during the transfer. And when uh, the, 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 three, the function receives the, the data, it decrypts it and, and, and prepare and transform the data into an information because at the moment it's just bits and bytes. So we decrypt the information and transform the data into information. That's the point. So what language are you using to deploy your applications on Oracle function? Basically, the Oracle, the, the Oracle function were deployed uh, using Python language, which fulfill our demand without any problem. And uh, can you tell me a little bit more about how the sensor triggers the function per day and what is the size of data generated? It depends on the customer requirements and also uh, the application context. I mean, if we are talking about uh, a high traffic area, which which uh, potentially can generate a, a huge amount of waste, uh, the frequency would be higher. But in the opposite case, it can be lower. Basically, we are talking about hours and not minutes or seconds, because that's not easy enough for, for, the, for the segment. Considering the, our context and not criticality of our application, the performance is pretty good and acceptable. Consider that the data can be transit in two or sometimes three net different networks, it reads our database in few seconds, which is more than enough for our application. And I see your users using this application. So how are they connected? Via mobile app or website? It depends on the user category. Uh, we have in our, in our application three different groups, the planners, the drivers, and the field staff. Planners basically use our web application, our web our platform, where they have access and visibility of all assets, fleet and planning analysis tools and features. The drivers and the field staff use our mobile app. The drivers to, to get orientation about which routes to be performed at that specific shift or day. And the field staff to be oriented on their field work. So high availability matters a lot in uh, deploying an application. So is there a disaster recovery service available? 
uh, we are using a high scalability uh, architecture, running containers image to improve availability and time to response on, on a disaster recovery, turning our architecture self-recoverable. And what drove the decision to migrate your workload to OCI? We analyzed and took in consideration the following points. Connection with customers and opportunities, uh, support on migration deployment, and cost benefits of the whole infrastructure. At that moment, we are not looking for only infrastructure, but which cloud could support us on the journey in a better way, delivering uh, to our customer a great user experience. So it was the whole package and not only workload fo uh, focus. So could you tell us a little bit more about compartment structures and how it has been uh, deployed? Yes, uh, we, we, we designed three different environments, uh, the production, uh, the development, and also the quality assurance. Uh, on each, on each the environment, we have its own servers, its own VCNs, its own users, and also the policies, uh, the user policies. So, uh, for example, our workflow is, once we are developing uh, the, the features or the platform, we start to use the development. Uh, when when uh, the developer is ready to be tested, we move it to the uh, quality assurance environment without uh, interfering on the production and also the development. We can put the, the guys from quality assurance running on this compartment without any problem, test the features, uh, give the feedback for developing guys. And afterwards, if everything's okay and approve it, we can move it uh, to the production environment and uh, deploy on the production uh, uh, for the production to the customer. So without uh, everything on the same on the same way, without interrupting the process of each of each compartment. I uh, I heard that you have implemented policies also. So are the uh, development people not able to access the DevOps compartment or UAT compartment and the production compartment? Is it is it in that place so that the security is maintained and they don't mess around with the servers? Yes, correct. If I if I I am working with the development, I just access my development compartment, all all the features and all the others. Uh, uh, elements of the cloud, like servers, VCN, whatever, is, is not accessible uh, for, uh, by me if I'm at the, at the quality assurance department. The guys that have access to the production run, everything appears for them. So uh, we, we, it creates a hierarchy of access and protect our, our cloud design and, and infrastructure in a better way. And how do you plan to expand your footprint on Oracle Cloud? And what are the next initiatives planned? So in our roadmap, we have the next steps. First of all, implement machine learning uh, on, on the waste beings data to give a more predictive uh, visibility to our customers. I mean, uh, they will know in a better way when probably that waste being will be fulfilled at all. And, and for that, we will require uh, a replacement or a collection. At the other side, we are also developing a powerful route optimizer to help to help our planners, customers, uh, plan their fleet in a in a easy in an easier way. And so you have been part of Oracle for startups. So how has the how has been the experience so far, and how has it helped your services, which are now in production in OCI? It has been a great experience for us. And uh, in, in in the name of Ways to Go team, I just have to thank you the whole Oracle for Startup team for the great job you are doing, in special for Artur Rabelo, which brings opportunities all the time for us and create connection with, Oracle, with other Oracle teams and also with Oracle customers. And for you, Mitesh, as well, because uh, for you and your team being available all the time when we need to support and clarify about, doubts about the, the cloud and also about the migration features. So thank you so much for all of you. Thank you so much for joining today and for such kind words. We appreciate your time in discussing the journey to OCI and look forward to continue to work together. This has been built and deployed. Thanks for joining us today. Stay tuned for more upcoming technical customer conversations. We hope to see you soon. Thank you.